I'm Kate and it's time for If Kate Can Do It, You Can Do It Crafts. It's week two of our summer reading program and as usual we're challenging, challenging you to read for 16 hours and at the end of the 16 hour period you get a prize book. And to encourage you along the way, we have lots of events and projects to do. We're going to have weekly take and makes and there's also an activity every week. The cake and makes are only while they last, but the activities, everybody should be able to get one of those. Come to the library to pick up what you need every Thursday. Also, our friends Llewellyn and Morris, they're going to have adventures every week. So you can keep up with what they're doing by coming to the library, looking at it online, going to Facebook, or asking us what Llewellyn and Morris have been doing. Now Llewellyn is the mouse and Morris is the moose, correct? I think so. Yes. You yes. know best. I do. <laughs> I was just reminding them oh. in case I forgot who was who. Okay. I, I'm good that you reminded me, Kathy. Okay. This week's activity is the Maine Audubon Maine Birds Checklist. Ooh. And I think the, it's beautiful photographs of all wow. these main birds. And I think the idea is you find as many of them as you can in your backyard or if you're out and about on a trip to the coast maybe, see what you can find for birds. And there is in fact a checklist that you can mark them off on as you go. You know, Kate, I yeah. saw an eagle in my yard the other day. I was so In your excited. yard? Well, it was on a tree along the driveway. Yeah, but still. I was so excited. That is very exciting. Oh, and an eagle is right there. I know, that's what made me think of it. Right, See, right on the front right page. Right on the front page. So maybe um, our, our uh, summer readers will be fortunate enough to see an eagle. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Okay, so we've done that. Oh, our summer reading event this week is Fur, Feet, and Feathers with Chiwanki Online. And because Chiwanki will be talking about birds at this discussion, we're gonna do a painted bird house. Ooh, let me look closer. Sure. Oh, that's so cute. It's really cute. So, what you'll need for your bird house is a cup of water and some newspaper. That sounds easy. In your kit, you'll find a birdhouse, a paint set, and two paintbrushes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so you should first of all decide how you want your birdhouse to look. Okay. I think Miss Rachel did this one, and you can see she made a fancy scene on it with a sun and some birds and some clouds. Well, we've had this discussion before. Miss Kathy apparently is not interested in staying here and watching paint dry. I, I, I am not. Actually. So we're going to just put one layer of paint on my birdhouse for now, and then um, you. But when you start to paint yours, you should have your design in mind before you go, because you have to let that paint dry in between, or your colors will all blend together. Okay, did you paint yours all yellow and then I you didn't. I didn't. Oh, came yellow? That came, that's the way it came. Oh, how nice. Woo! I almost dropped the paint. Okay, so look at all these great paint colors we have. Let's see. I'm going to start, I'm going to go bold. I'm going to start with the pink. What do you think about that, Kathy? I think that's a lovely You know what? I don't even know how to open it. Okay, good. See, this is this is why if Kate can do it, you can do it. And I've got did you paint. figure out how to open it? I did, but I got pain on myself when I did it. So I guess oh, I... Oh, it's got a little cap thing. I guess I'm supposed to get my brush wet first. Do you think that's the idea? I don't know. Some paint you don't have to. I don't know. I'm going to just dab it a little. Newspaper was a really good idea. Yeah, that Miss Rachel, she knows what she's doing, huh? Okay, so here we go. We're going to have a pink... Well, this part of the roof will be pink, and I guess if I if I wanted to, you can make each triangle different each, color. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that because that sounds could, fun. Yeah, and the, you know you can still let that all dry before yeah. you do anything. Ooh, I wonder if I'm supposed to paint the sticks. I'm sort of messing them up. Oh well, um, I'm gonna do every other one pink. Okay, sounds good. What are you gonna put in between? I don't know. Like I said, you're supposed to have this plan before you start. I don't know. You but just create. Because you won't stand here and wait for it to dry. And it's all my fault. Yeah. Um, I didn't make a plan because I knew I was just going to be doing the first coat. And 
I thought, go with the spur of the moment. I think the uh, in between should be purple. Okay. Just a thought. Unless you think the purple is going to look changed to brown with the yellow. I don't know. We'll find out. Brown would be okay, though. Okay. I wouldn't object to brown. Oops. I think that stick is going to be pink because I kept hitting it. So. Well, then it's a pink stick. It is a pink stick. Birds won't care. They won't. Um, I'm going to make all the sticks on that side pink because that's what I feel like doing. Let's see what you're doing. Oh, well, they look nice pink. Thanks. And I'll make the other sticks purple. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Pink all done. Right. Pink done. I guess I put it in the water now. Okay. Now, set him down. Is this, this purple is what you had in mind? Yes, that would be fine. You know what, I should, probably should have practiced opening these because I really didn't have a clue what I was doing, but. It's okay. I got it. I have faith in I your can paint see it now. Skills. I can see the camera man, camera woman being covered in paint. Oh, please no. <laughs> okay, now. I'm Although gonna, I'm sure it's washable because everything we have right. is pretty much washable. I'm going to dab my brush on them the paper again, because I think the thicker the paint is kind of the better it's going to cover. What do you think? I Ooh, think... I like that, Kathy. Ooh, it's a pretty color. Yeah. I like that. And then you can pick different colors on the bottom too, right? Sure. Why not? So is that pretty much we just paint it? We don't have to do anything else to it? It's all made? We don't. We just paint it. Oh, wow. I yeah. can do that craft. Yeah. Would never look as nice as Miss Rachel's, but I could do it or That's yours. That's right. That's right. Well, you know the theory here. Yeah. Kate can do it. You can do That's it. That's right. And you know, maybe we don't have to have um, all our friends watch me paint the whole thing. Um, Probably not. Yeah, we'll do a. As long as you promise to finish it later. That's so I can right. See we'll do it. one more purple panel on the roof. Then the roof will be done because it's important to have the roof done. Because yes. we don't want it to leak, right? Right. I'm going to finish the roof. And I do like that purple. I'm glad you chose purple. It's very festive. I, I just seem to go. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We probably okay. don't have to bore people all right. we decide all the colors. But that looks nice, Okay. Kate. What do you think the door color should be? There's a door? Well, the door where the supposedly oh, where the, the bird. Oh, the window? Uh, is that a window? Okay. The window. No, window. actually, I think you're right. I think it's where the bird would go in. Um, it would have to be an awfully tiny bird, wouldn't it? Well, there are tiny birds, Kate. I know. Uh, I don't know. Blue or okay. green? Blue it is. Get? Blue, okay. Blue it is. If I can open it. Okay, good. You might need big people helping you open those because they, they are a little bit stiff when you open them. Just FYI. Okay, so here goes the blue for the the door part. Okay. Would a hummingbird be that small, do you think? I don't know much about birds. I don't know either, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think it's a little too flimsy for a real birdhouse. I think it's more a decorative birdhouse. Bird. I'm afraid that if the hummingbird moved in, there might come a rainstorm and the whole house might disintegrate. Well, it's true. <laughs> it's cardboard, isn't it? That's that? right. That's a good point. We wouldn't want the poor hummingbird to be homeless, would we? No, no, that would be sad. Yeah. Okay, so everybody have the idea? Let's see. You just Ooh, go yeah. ahead and paint your birdhouse and then you let the paint dry before you put anything fancy on the next okay. layer of the birdhouse. So the fancy stuff would be like on Miss Rachel's with the, the little cloud. flowers and clouds. She had clouds and grass. She had Ooh. grass on her birdhouse and a sun. So and you some were birds. That, you would do the blue and the green, let them dry, and then you would do mm -hmm. the ones on the patterns on top. That's right. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So hers is very realistic. Mine, mine sort of. Yours is going to be colorful. It, it reminds me of a, a pagoda. I don't really know why, but it makes me think of a pagoda. Which is a, a house in China or in Japan? In China or Japan. I'm not sure. Okay. But that's what I think of. How about a book? Yeah, we do have a book today. Let me see if I've covered everything. Oh, if you want, as always, you can use this to decorate inside your house. You could decorate outside your house, but you would not want to leave it out in the storm. I think it wouldn't 
survive it would very well. Probably disintegrate. So, or you could give it to a friend or a relative. I think, or Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day is coming. Oh, but I think. Oh, I it's think, next yeah, week. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yes, sorry. We're filming a little bit ahead here, guys. Sorry. Okay, so our book today is about a bird. It's one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorite books too. It's called "Are You My Mother" by P. D. Eastman. And I think that if this little bird had had a nice bird house, it would have saved him a whole lot of trouble. He wouldn't have had to go through what he went through to find out where his mother was. But then we wouldn't have the book. We yet. wouldn't have the book, but boy, it was it traumatic. Really, it it was traumatic right. for the poor little bird. It was, It did end well, though, you're right. Yes. So you can come to the library to borrow this. You can order it and pick it up through Lithgow to go. We'd be really glad to see you if you decide to come to the library. Lots of our friends are coming back now, and we're so happy to see them. And I want to thank you for watching, and I want to remind you to please stay safe.